South Africa, the place of the big and wild, but also a place where hunting occurs every day. I never understood why you would want to shoot an animal. So I came here to find out for myself what really lies behind the hunting industry. My first stop was the carcass of an elephant that had been shot. I couldn't believe that after two months, the dead body was still there. It smells really bad. Really, really bad. I'm gonna get closer. This part here looks interesting. I mean, the skin is flapped down to like straight cuts, so I guess they cut it open and left the body for like other animals to feed on or something. Like, here are also footprints. I guess it's a lion. Big cat for sure. I couldn't wrap my head around how a once so magnificent animal had ended up like this. So I went to speak to a game reserve ranger to figure out what had happened here. From what I picked up, um, I would say at that time on that reserve, um, they had to make a quick decision. So not something um, that where they had time to go, okay, this elephant needs to go, he's causing problems, he's breaking fences. You know, he's putting people's lives in danger. I never thought about killing an animal for management reasons. Even in reserves where hunting is not allowed, rangers sometimes have to go in and put sick or older animals down to manage the population. Especially in areas that lack predators, natural selection can't take its course and needs human intervention. I learned that not all killing of animals in South Africa is for pleasure. And usually the carcass gets utilized completely either by humans or other animals. In this reserve, I was allowed to witness such a process. All right, Sam, so this is that red hot I was telling you about. Just gonna take a look at it quickly. So it's a fairly older animal, all right. So yeah, let's cut open the abscess quickly and take a look inside. All right, so we can see the contents of this abscess. Seems to be broken down grass, probably coming from a cut maybe inside the mouth or in the cheek, which is causing the grass to fill up into this, um, filling up this cavity, causing an abscess to form. So yeah, um, obviously this animal um, wouldn't have survived too well and probably been in quite a lot of pain. It didn't take long until the lions arrived for the feast. And within an hour, most of the harder beast was gone. My journey has shown me that the world is not just black and white, good and evil, right and wrong. Shooting an animal is not always senseless killing for somebody's pleasure, but often a necessary management tool to ensure the balance within a reserve. What I learned from the ranger makes a lot of logical sense. Although it collides with my moral belief that we shall not take an animal's life. With wildlife fenced in for its own protection, unable to live by the rules of survival of the fittest, there might not be another way at the moment. But I still have hope that one day we will be able again to coexist with nature without having to interfere and that all of us can truly be free.